Hi guys, today we're going to talk to you about what is the difference between the e-car and an AGV. So choosing the right transportation method for your materials throughout your facility can be a little bit overwhelming and improving the delivery of materials from the warehouse to the assembly line, improving the speed of order picking and more significantly the presentations of the parts can all be impacted by your choice of transportation. So now we're going to outline some of the differences between an AGV and our e-car. So first of all, what is an automated guided vehicle? So MHI.org defines an automated guided vehicle, or AGV for short, as an automatic guided vehicle system consists of one or more computer-controlled wheel-based load carriers. In most cases, they are battery-powered that run on the plant or warehouse floor or if outdoors on a paved area without the need for an onboard operator or driver. So effectively, they are guided by some sort of transportation system and they do not need a human driver or a human guider. So what is the e-car? The e-car is an autonomous and remote controlled material handling car. It is designed to carry load and integrate seamlessly with the existing FlexCube system. The modular system has been complemented with smart modules such as a motor, battery, control unit and sensors. So this gives the e-car an unbelievable amount of size flexibility. And one of the first key differences there would be the size. So size or flexibility. The e-car comes with a market leading size advantage. The ability to create an automation solution ranging in size from 910 by 840 millimeters up to two and a half meters by two and a half meters provides a lot of freedom and flexibility for the user. It isn't just the size flexibility, but also the flexibility to change the top structure with ease because any of our solutions in our solutions library can be turned into an e-car. The e-car can have a flat deck for transporting different pallets, but then it can also have a shelf structure added onto the platform within minutes. So really, you can let your materials dictate how they should be transported and how they can be presented to your operators. The next difference between the e-card and an AGV is simplicity. e card focuses on being able to create an automation solution that is easy to use and simple for the operators. The idea was to make sure that it is straightforward to implement and even easier to change the route. So there is no need for you to bring in external consultants, to bring in specially trained people to train your operators. It comes with a tablet and it's very easy to change the route. Now the next difference between the e-card and AGV is implementation time. So building off the simplicity of this, AGVs tend to have a long implementation time depending on the form of navigation technology that they may be using. So many AGVs are navigated via magnetic strips which then need to be installed in the floor. However, with the e-card it is just needs a contrast in the floor. So we use different types of tape or different types of paint, and it is actually being able to be guided through that optically. And this makes the implementation much easier and much less demanding on the infrastructure within your facility. Now the final difference between the e-card and the AGVs is how much load capacity or load bearing that the e-card is actually able to take. Many AGV solutions do not actually take load themselves and they instead rely on driving underneath a material handling cart or towing a material handling cart that actually has the load. Whereas the e-cart actually has a load capacity of up to 1,000 kilos or about 2,200 pounds. So it actually can carry load itself while also having the ability to tow carts with load behind it. So if it is actually towing, it can tow up to 2,500 kilos while still having 500 kilos on itself. So this gives you quite a lot of flexibility on how your loads will actually be transported through your facility. In the end, when comparing the e-card to AGVs, it really is all about how you are planning on moving your systems. If you're looking for a flexible system, it is very evident that the e-card is something that you could be after, and it is also focused on dedicated routes. However, if you have a more of a set route or if you already have the infrastructure for an AGV set up, then obviously an AGV solution could be what you're looking for. If you have any other questions about our e-card, you can visit our website at www.flexcube.com. And thank you very much for watching, guys.